all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel so the las vegas raiders pick number 13 select brock bowers and here's my issue with it i don't have an issue with it why on earth would i have an issue with selecting the best tight end out of this year's draft class i get it offensive tackle cornerback um <laughs> unbelievably so michael Penix jr went pick number eight to the atlanta falcons jj mccarthy ended up going pick number 10 um at the end of the day if the las vegas raiders truly believed that aiden o'connell wasn't the guy or gardner Minshew wasn't the bridge qb if the raiders did not think the qbs on the roster were good enough to get the job done they would have traded up and selected a qb you had Bo Nix go right before you had pick 12. You had JJ go at pick 10. You had Penix go at pick number 8. If they wanted Jay to Daniel, uh, Jay and Daniels wasn't really a, you know, going to happen, but you guys get what I'm saying here. JC Latham went pick number 7. A bunch of offensive tackles went before him like Olu. Um, it is what it is. I can't be upset with Brock Bowers, and I get it. You drafted Michael Mayer one year ago in the second round out of the University of Notre Dame. But folks, at this point in time, offense wins championships. And if you have this kind of unproven young QB coming off his rookie season where he was just thrown out there, he was thrown out there into the litter uh, in the middle of the pack, and he ended up going 5-5 five and five in 10 games as his you know, NFL career in his rookie season. That's something that the Raiders and myself included, that's a risk, a gamble you're willing to take. You know, he proved to me enough, you know, Kansas City, Denver, 63 against the Chargers. He showed you enough that you went in a different route. And I liked that they at least went offensively because folks, it's an offensive driven league at this point in time. So before we get any further into tonight's video, if you guys enjoy it, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily Raiders content. Raiders fans, if you're trying to get this video to 250 likes, that would mean the absolute world to me. So I was reading the, like, by the way, guys, Brock Bowers, one of the best tight ends in the NFL, or the best NFL tight end draft class, but he's one of the best playmakers in this year's class in general. You know, this past season, banged up a little bit, played only 10 games, 56 catches, 714 yards, three touchdowns. The year before it, 63 catches, 942 yards, seven touchdowns. In his freshman season at Georgia back in 2021, 56 catches, 882 yards, 13 freaking touchdowns uh this guy's the real deal and to be honest with you the whole issue i have with people saying oh you drafted michael mayer one year ago is brock's gonna be more of like a hybrid tight end slash wide receiver all right he's not gonna get in the way of michael mayer uh mayor's not gonna get in the way of brock bowers these guys are going to be they're going to bring out the best in each other. It's not going to be like, oh, it's either going to be, you know, Bowers or Mayer. It, it's not like that in any way, shape or form. And I was reading this CBS article, you know, I've got the CBS sports app and I'm reading, they're given every team draft grades and they gave the Raiders pick at 13 Brock Bowers a C. Uh, here's it it's from Pete Prisco. He's a heck of a player, but they didn't they draft Michael Mayer last year and signed Harrison Bryant this year? Question mark. They have other needs. Don't really like this pick that much. It's not like he's a good blocker for the run game. Strange pick with other needs. Um, I get it, and I think you can say a reasonable argument, and I think most Raiders fans are gonna you know mention this in the comment section about an offensive tackle, right? You lost Greg Van Roten at the guard spot, you lost Jermaine Illuminor at the tackle pot spot. I get it. Um, but at the end of the day, if this is really such a historical deep tackle draft, why can't I grab him in the second round? Why can't I trade up and select him in the first round if it's really that dire of a need? The cornerback spot, I get it. Offensive tackle spot, I get it. Um, what's Harrison Bryant going to do for me next season, folks? Like, what's he going to do for me? 10 catches, 200 yards? I, I would take that because I don't think Harrison Bryant is here for any other reason than tight end depth. Now, Michael Mayer is interesting because... He had such a good college career, and I am a biased Notre Dame football fan, and I will tell you Michael Mayer is the real deal. He is the truth here. Uh, but once again, Brock Bowers plays more of a hybrid. He's more of a hybrid tight end, more of a hybrid wide receiver. Michael Mayer can block. Harrison Bryant can block. The offensive line can block. I drafted, you know, right, if I'm Tom Telesco, the GM of the Las Vegas Raiders, 
I drafted Brock Bowers because of his playmaking ability. And if you're in this conference of the AFC and you're in this division with Patrick Mahomes and you're in this division with Justin Herbert and the Chargers with Harbaugh, defense isn't going to win you a championship because defense isn't going to win your division. All right. I was a huge advocate of trading out for Jaden Daniels, but you know, it was clear as day as we got closer to the draft that the Washington commanders were not liking the picks for number two and that they were going to select Jaden Daniels or Drake May. Michael Penix goes at eight. Bo Nix goes at 11, or 12. JJ goes at pick number 10. Once again, if the Raiders really wanted a quarterback, they would have selected a quarterback. They would have traded up, given up a second round pick and a fifth round pick, a third round pick and a fifth round pick for a quarterback of their future. But they feel comfortable and they feel confident with Aiden O'Connell and that draft pick or that you know sentiment of you know having confidence in AOC was backed by drafting Brock Bowers. Now, once again, this is day one of the draft. The Raiders are not done. You got your second round pick. You can take your offensive tackle there. You got a third round pick. You can take your cornerback there. It is what it is. I really like the idea of Brock Bowers on this Las Vegas Raiders offense. Folks, on paper, here's what you have. Paired up with Aiden O'Connell slash Gardner Minshew, Alexander Madison slash Abzamir White. You have the best wide receiver in the NFL, and Devontae Adams, when he's healthy and good to go, when he's got a wide, or a quarterback with him. Devontae Adams, best wide receiver until proven further. I get it. Justin Jefferson's right behind him. Jamar Chase is right behind him, but uh, who cares? Top three wide receiver undisputed. I have Jacoby Myers, who's one of the more under-recognized wide receiver twos in the National Football League. And I've got a young gun, really freaking fast wide receiver, last year's rookie, Trey Tucker. And now I've got this crazy tight end room with Brock Bowers and Michael Mayer. I can't be upset. You have a defensive head coach in Antonio Pierce, and you've got a rookie QB coming off a non-fully started season, right? He played 10 games. He went 5-5. Five and five. He threw eight touchdowns, zero interceptions in his final month of the season. But his first month of the season was a little bit shaky, right? He was throwing a lot of interceptions. He was making some mistakes. Like you would anticipate a fourth-round rookie out of Purdue, nonetheless, to do when your head coach gets fired and your offensive coordinator gets fired and there's all these moving parts. The Raiders organization in the first half of last season, they were an absolute mess, right? Like, that's just clear as day. So give Aiden O'Connell the benefit of the doubt. He's the QB of the future. It's clear as day at this point in time surround him with weapons surround him with playmakers so that's all i got for today hit that like button hit that sub button for dave the raiders concept but most importantly guys let me know your thoughts on the brock bowers draft pick at number 13 give me a letter grade for it me personally i'm gonna go at least a b i'm probably gonna give it a b plus uh that's it for me though hit that like button hit that sub button and we will see you tomorrow for day